Twitch panels is one of the best ways to customize and personalize your channel, but how do you make a custom Twitch panel? That is what I'm going to show you guys today in today's video. So if you find this video helpful, then please be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more content from me just like this video, then make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on. That would mean very much. With that said, let's get straight into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be using a website that is actually very good. And it is called Nerd or Die. You've maybe heard of it or maybe not. I don't know. But I'll leave a link to it almost on top of the, of the description. Or you can just search for nerd or die and click on the top link then it should take you here to this to their home page uh, after that you go to the resources hold your mouse here and select twitch panel maker now this is obviously the website or the place that you will make your your panels so we click on get started or sc scroll down this is this should take you to this little page over here. Now the thing that I love with Nerd or Die's panel maker is that there are so many things that you can change. Let's look here. We got a general settings, which are obviously the most important settings, but you can also change some effects with shadows and colors, positioning, so, so much. I'm gonna go through everything to make a perfect panel for your Twitch channel page. Um, and in this in this example, it will be a donation pan panel. Um, so let's start with the text. We um, type in the text donate because if it's always a, a, a donation panel font family you select you could just you just play around with these fonts and when you find a font that you really really like then you then you just stick with that one and um, so let's say I real this this font really fits my channel and my branding and everything I, I basically want to have this. Then um, yeah, you select that and style. You can have it cursive or or not. Depends on what how you like it. Also, you can change the alignment of the logo or whatever uh, and stuff. But I like to have it on left. Find weight. Uh, this doesn't do much really. Just like maybe like the 700 font size. The size of the font maybe a bit bigger, like 48. Now the icons. Okay. Here you can select which icon you want. If we go to open icon picker, look here. There are so many icons. This is a reason that what I like Nerd or Die so much. They have so many icons that you can choose from, all from Snapchat to Spotify to to like Instagram and donate. So in today's tutorial, I'm demonstrating with a donate panel. So that's why we're gonna take the cash the cash icon. We select that, and here you can here you see a some uh, d a dollars or whatever a cash symbol uh, as as the icon. You can also upload a custom icon using a file from your computer, which is actually aw awesome if you don't like the icons that are here. Um, so um, if you have one on your computer, you feel free to uh, upload it on the website or up to upload it here. So um, when you're done with general settings, we go over to the effects. Here you can enable and disable shadows on the panel. So here you can see a shadow over here, the drop shadow under the cache. And if you disable it, it looks like this. I, I don't think it looks like that good actually. So we add a, a um, shadow just to spice the icon a bit up, up a bit more. Uh, we can change it to where it rotates from which angle the shadow comes from but I, I, as I said before I like how I like the how it is how it was so um, I think it was like this boom you can also change the border width here uh, I suggest not to do this just don't mess around with the width here over here have it like it is so have it on zero and a border radius and percent you can play around with this if you want to look here and the border becomes a bit more smooth if you can say so and I personally like this actually this um so I, yeah, like 20 20 24 then like the corners or the lines become a really really much smoother and I really like that this is all up to your tastes obviously but I use you, you basically you select which one you like colors here on the, here's another taste thing I can change a lot of different colors the background the icon color um and the effects color everything i'm gonna have it as it is right now because i like it um except for the icon background color because my branding color is red actually so i'm gonna have it red because that really fits my branding and my channel so it's really good well let me just find red over here like this you can see preview there right here how it look like so i think you'll 
this is really good we we so, so, save that and here we go this uh, is basically how I want my panel you can change the pos positioning which is the next tab over here of uh, like the panel and uh, the text I the icon everything um, so let's do like this maybe you can play around with it basically and when you feel like the panel looks awesome you're ready to use this on your twitch homepage and you can preview it how it will look like on diff the different two twitch modes dark and light so here, here this is how it will look like on the dark mode and this is how it looks like on the light mode of Twitch. You can also look how it will look on Mixer in case you are streaming on Mixer or having panels on Mixer. This is how it will look like. Um, when, so as I said, once you feel like you're done with your panel, you click on a save panel image and it will start downloading in your left right hand corner. Um, then you're free to use it and how to add a, how to add a panel to Twitch I'm going to show you right now. So. If you go over to Twitch and, uh, and scroll down to my panels, you click on edit panels and click on the plus button down here or the plus plus page add and here you get a new custom here you can customize your panel. So we added the picture that we just downloaded from Nerd or Die, th this website that we just uh, were in and uh, add this. This is how it looks like. Awesome. Really awesome actually. So we open it. And you can crop it however you want. Uh, then we hit done. Oh, and here you can see a little preview. You can link the picture or uh, to your donation website. So here is my donation page. I copy this, and uh, and you can ha paste it into the description if you want to like this. But I don't like that. I like to have that the picture links to this website. So if you do like this, and we send the send this, we just click on send and to save it. Boom, I'm gonna show you how it looks like now. This is how it looks like, donate. Okay, now I can just click on the panel and this will take you to your donation pay website or to my donation website. I hope this helped guys, if it did then please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you find this video helpful. Uh, that would mean very much. With that said, see you next video, Starks out.